Hey everyone, my name is Khan and today I'm back with another incredible video. A while ago I uploaded a video showing you where you can get pretty cool card displays and card storages. If you haven't watched that video, you can click on the link on the screen right now and see it. Today we will do something similar, but instead of showing you where you can get it, I will show you how you can create your own storages and displays on your own with things that you already have. After watching this video, you will be able to create these pretty cool looking card storages slash displays that look so so cool, can be customized with your own playing cards that can hold up to 7 packs of playing cards, which of course can be made bigger to hold more decks. I believe these look very cool, you can see what they look like right now on the screen. This is what we will learn in today's video. If you like what you see, go ahead and let me know by leaving a huge thumbs up on this video right now and of course let me see your support. That's been said, let me teach you how you can create these displays. So guys, let me teach you how you can create this incredible box. What you need is just a pack of playing cards. A full pack is gonna be enough. You won't use all cards, but most of them are gonna be used for the box. Other than that, you don't need any glue, any tape whatsoever. It's just playing cards. So the main component of the box is gonna consist of two cards, right? You're gonna take any back design you want, and place it like this so that you have created a cross like that. So from either side, you are looking at the back design. The back design you are looking at is going to be the design of the box. Meaning if you would have the faces of the cards, your main design, just do this. So the side you see is going to be the design of the box. I want to have a pretty simple pattern on my box with the back design. So I'm going to do this and create a cross like this. The better you center the cards, the better results you will have. And just try to keep a straight edge over here. So don't have it like this, have it straight as possible. Okay, so these sticking edges over here should be around the same size for the best results possible. Once you have pretty much centered it, just press with your thumb into the center so that these cards don't move and just fold this edge up like that, right? You're gonna repeat the same with this edge over here. This time it's gonna be easier as this card is now pretty much fixed towards the bottom. So you can just fold this up too, right? Now the same thing you have to repeat with the other card, in this case the seven of clubs. Just turn it around, center the blue piece here in the center again, and of course, fold these cards up two, right? And last but not least, the last edge, just like so. Now you are pretty much done with the folding of the first main component. Just separate these two pieces. And now you just have to interlace them. This means you are just gonna take one of them and you're gonna slide this flap over here into this slit or slot whatever you call it so just take it very simple place it in so it looks something like this from the inside now to fix all of this in position you just have to get this flap over here into this slot over here this is going to be a little more difficult but overall it's going to be pretty simple so just fold these in hold from the edges so they do not separate and just place this into the slot like that, and you're done. Now you can just press on the edges to flatten it down a little bit, but that's pretty much the main component of your box. This won't separate now anymore, so you are pretty much done. You will need a total of eight of these squares over here. I, of course, already made them, so you just have to make them, and then you can follow me up from here. So once you have made your eight pieces, just take two of them, move them to the side, you will use them later on. The other six that you're left with, 
you will have to connect together. The way you're connecting these ones are pretty simple. You will just use a single playing card. Let me show you. Just take two pieces, okay? Uh, I like to keep them in the same orientation. In this case, I will leave like everyone like this and not have a pattern like that one amongst them. So everything is gonna look the same way. I just don't want to have it look a little confusing, right? So you will just take two of them. Now I'm just taking a random playing card. The back design looks up again and I just slide it in to the slit over here. I push it in so around the half of the card is now sticking out. Don't push it in all the way. Once around half of the card is in, I'm just pressing on this piece here so this doesn't move anymore. I take another of my main components and slide this half into that one. Just like so. And now these are pretty much locked in. Now I'm just gonna repeat the same process until I have here a line that looks something like this connected with playing cards. So let me finish that and speed up the process. So guys, I'm now finished locking these pieces in. Now what I'm gonna do is try to recreate that rectangular shape that the box is gonna end up as, right? So just lift this up and create my shape, okay? These edges over here or these like angles over here, I can then just press in a little bit. So these stay in position, the same with the other side. Right, so the cards that interlace those two pieces is just gonna be folded up and stay in its shape. And last but not least, this one over here is gonna get folded down too. Now, of course, you can see there is one piece missing here to lock this in, and this is exactly what we will now do. I just take a random card, fold it in the center, and this is gonna go in here and the other piece right over here and now I basically have recreated the final shape of my box like this one little thing that you should keep in mind notice the cards in the center the backs are looking to the outside and the faces are inside the box I believe it looks way better this way right so this now is pretty much done. Now we just have to create the bottom of the box. So let's do this right now. So for the bottom of the box, you will just take the two pieces that we have put aside before we even began with this. And as before, you will just connect them with a playing card, which I will do right now, like this. Now, this is now gonna be the bottom of the playing card. However, we will need some things to lock it in to our body over here. This is gonna happen by you using basically one playing card for each slit. In this case, we have four here, two here, meaning six playing cards. So take these six playing cards and we will be basically just folding these up in the center so they are the same size. So now I have six playing cards folded in the center. These ones are now just gonna get stuck into every slit over here. So let's do this right now. So now you should be left with something like this. Now you can pretty much imagine what's gonna happen with that. You will just take your buddy and you will try to get these pieces into the according slots over here. This is pretty much the most difficult part of the whole thing, but still not so difficult that you can't really manage to do it. So let me do that right now. So now all the sides are pretty much in. It's now all a matter of pushing the whole thing into body and I'm done here we go guys I just created my blue back designed playing card holder display box whatever you want to call it and you are pretty much done 
As I've said in the introduction, you can fit up to seven packs of playing cards into this box. A great display that you can just have on your table, in your background, wherever you want to use it. This is what it looks like.